Well, back to this car. Time to do the fuel lines and change the hoses and put the um, thermal switch in and check the filter. Oh, here's this crappy green power clean burn piece of shit crap. Weighs about a kilo and a half. I believe these ones, all they do is add bits of tin to the fuel. Someone told me that, I'm not sure about it, but that can't be good for the car, is <laughs> But, um, yeah, I don't know. don't know what it does, but I do know they're bullshit. Oh, I got curious and took an end off it. They're cutting it open, you can't really see, but, you know, there's just some metal balls in there. Looks like. So the fuel passes through those metal balls, and, yeah, they obviously do something. Supposedly. Oh well, I'll let Aussie 50 work this one out. He can set fire to himself trying to cut it open. <laughs> now to the sediment bowl. Well, it seems to be doing its job. Now originally this used to be a fuel filter. You put a paper element in there. But you can't buy them anymore. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this alone because it's got a cork gasket and they have a habit of tearing. So there's not too much crap in there. Um, I'm going to put an inline filter in it again, so there's no need to actually disturb this. Because, um, you know the old saying, leave well enough alone. Well, in this case, I believe that should be applied. Oh, there we go. That was quick and simple. It's not touching anywhere. Very easy. I just popped the top hose, and the little filter has caught a fair bit of shit. And when I've taken it off, you can see what's flushed back down the hose. All the bits of rust and crystallised coolant and bits of crap. I'll have a good look when I get the hose off. This is why you put a filter on, otherwise you'll block the radiator you just got cleaned. Well, this wouldn't help. I have an 82 degree Celsius thermostat in there. Or 180 Fahrenheit. It's a little bit high for an engine that only runs 7 pounds in the radiator. The new one I've got is 75 degrees Celsius or 167 Fahrenheit. So that should give the engine a bit more of a chance of not cooking. So, I'd say 78 would be quite perfect, but coming in the summer I'd like a nice cold one. So, yeah. Now the thermostat's ready to go in, I fill the engine up to just below the points. So I know all the air's out of it. And put the thermostat in, seal it, uh, let it set, and then fill it the rest of the way. This is why I fill radiators with a thermostat in if I can. You'll we'll hear all the air coming out, which normally gets trapped under the thermostat, even though there is a bleed valve. Perfect. There you go. Now just put the sealant on and stick the lid on. 
I've got a thermal switch here. Unfortunately, it's not on the bottom hose. So the hose is fitted too well to the fitting. So I can't get the probe in there. So this might be one of the worst things you've seen me do. I've had a zip tie the switch to this wire for now. Later I'll put the bracket in. I get this hose off again to change the filter which I've put inside it now. I've made it up so it fits in there. I just can't get the drill in now. That's where the probe goes. Made a nice loom for it. Runs across and plugs in to here. It's, um, yeah, it's horrible. Don't want to hear too many redneck bogan comments about this, please. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's done. It works. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that's that.